Hello guys, we've got some exciting new information from NIO. They've posted articles on their new app in China, talking about the upcoming launch of the ET9. Clearly, it's designed to get people excited and prepared because, folks, you're not ready for this. They've shared some amazing information, and on top of that, NIO is about to launch its own self-driving chip, which is part of their innovation. Today, we're going to talk about the 900-volt battery. We'll discuss the powertrain and, most importantly, what NIO has said about the steer-by-wire system. The entire car is controlled by wires, which is quite astonishing. So sit back, relax, and listen carefully. And yes, keep an eye on NIO stock. It's performing well in pre-market. Yesterday, I mentioned that we could reach around 7.9, and it seems to be holding up well. So we need to discuss that. The first article was about the 900-volt battery. Let's start by talking about the development of power batteries. In the early stages, we went from non-rechargeable dry batteries to rechargeable lead acid battery packs. However, battery technology was somewhat limited and electric vehicles weren't very popular back then. In the second stage, NIO power batteries arrived, mainly to assist hybrid powertrains. This was the era of nickel batteries, the first of three stages. Lithium ion battery technology continued to progress and fully electric products slowly gained popularity. Later on, Electric vehicles became even more popular. I won't delve into details here. During the foundation of NIO, we formulated recommendations for the battery system that were rechargeable, replaceable, and upgradable. This advocated for a natural battery system for power exchange or power swap, which should be prioritized. Battery packs can be interchanged among different models, and there should be a continuous and reliable quick change design between the battery and the vehicle. This design encompasses electrical, mechanical, and thermal management systems. The battery pack can be upgraded without changing its size. There should be a continuous increase in the energy density of the battery, an improvement in fast charging capacity, and the ability to use new technology batteries in older models. This is a significant point. To achieve the three points mentioned above, we needed to initiate robust research and development to generate and eliminate proposals. Therefore, in the initial stages, we established a strong R&D team covering research and development for information, cells, system integration, system control, calibration, verification, and the entire life cycle of batteries. In 2017, we developed a 70 kilowatt hour power exchange battery system, incorporating expert and reliable hydropower, quick exchange, and mechanical quick exchange designs. In 2020, while implementing upgrade recommendations, we launched 100 kilowatt hour long life battery products with a 43% increase in volume energy density, marking the first use of cloud battery management system technology in the industry. In 2021, to further enhance the safety of the battery system, we introduced a new thermal diffusion design, applying lithium ion phosphate systems, cold performance, and industry leading power estimation. In the first instance, we have a 75 kilowatt hour dual system battery. It is equipped with both DC and high power battery packs, ensuring the lithium ion phosphate system calculation accuracy is less than 2%, and it performs better in low temperatures. Due to these advancements, NIO has brought about a revolution, achieving success in accurately calculating the battery charge percentage. In 2022, we will invest in the development of new cell technology. We have expanded our research and development facilities, established a cell research and development laboratory, and set up a cell trial production line with trial production capacity for various forms of cells. A few days ago, William Lee Bin tested the ET7 with a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. This test was live streamed. The impressive endurance exceeded 1000 cam in real range, and the 150 kilowatt hour large battery achieved the world highest cell density, 360 watt hours per kilogram, and the highest energy density, 260 watt hours per kilogram. Through efficient thermal management technology, this system can achieve six times higher efficiency in cooling compared to conventional battery systems. 
So what kind of leading ability does the power battery need in the flagship model and the research and development of the ET9, which begins with the ET9 and the 900 volt high power architecture? We deeply considered the design of the next generation of power battery systems. Based on the product definition of the flagship model, under the 900 volt high voltage architecture that surpasses the industry upper limit, it is essential to fully utilize the benefits of high voltage. This ensures the best solution for replenishing all types of energy through supercharging and fast replacement. It looks like you've provided discussing the design considerations for a cell with low internal resistance, high voltage architecture, and improved energy consumption and fast charging benefits. Additionally, you've mentioned the need to enhance the safety and reliability of battery packs while increasing energy density. The also hints at the unveiling of a technical flagship featuring new cells and battery packs for the ET9 flagship model at NIO Day on the 23rd. The second part of the delves into the high voltage powertrain of the ET9, highlighting the use of an 800 volt system, a technology initially introduced in high-end sports cars like the Porsche Taycan. The emphasizes the advantages of 800 volt systems, such as faster charging speeds and addresses the shift towards higher power fast charging technologies. Lastly, it mentions NIO commitment to research and development in high voltage systems, electronic controls, reducers, and assembly systems. The outlines the establishment of capabilities for full stack design and development, covering various aspects such as material research, silicon carbide chip development, control algorithm development, big data and intelligent algorithm systems research, advanced technology, and high voltage architecture research. It also notes the achievement of self-control abilities for core parts like electric drive, assembly, motor, fixed rotor controller, and power module. Playing a pioneering role in launching high performance, mass produced three-in-1 electric drive products in China, NIO stands as the first company in the industry to introduce a rechargeable, replaceable, and upgradable battery system with high voltage architecture support. To date, we have successfully mass produced two generations of high voltage architecture and the third generation of electric drive platforms. Additionally, we have applied for more than 500 patents from both domestic and international sources. Today, with our upcoming flagship model, the ET9, we have adopted a 900 volt high voltage architecture, breaking industry boundaries and offering the ultimate experience in rapid charging performance for the entire vehicle. Alongside this, addressing specific weaknesses in the high voltage wire harness of the vehicle, our specialized fast power exchange system enhances the overall energy replenishment experience. Simultaneously, for our flagship models designed to meet the high demand for space and comfort, we have reduced the weight and size of the motor significantly. We've incorporated specific technologies designed to achieve higher power density, utilizing technology as a tool for understanding and optimizing products for increased performance. Undoubtedly, the term high voltage implies an increased demand for safety and reliability, which should be a top priority from the very source of design. This ensures that we provide users with the safest travel protection possible. In addition to this, we have integrated a safer and more reliable high voltage power distribution, safety redundancy architecture, and a front and rear dual motor power redundancy system. Our proprietary big data system, coupled with an intelligent control algorithm, enables real-time diagnosis of the 900 volt electric drive system health status online. It continuously optimizes and matches control parameters with the user driving habits ensuring efficient, safe, and reliable power output. Being the technical flagship, our administrative flagship consistently embodies ultra-charged, fast replacement, comfort, high performance, safety, and reliability, all powered by the groundbreaking 900-volt high-voltage architecture. Only such leading technology can accompany the high-end flagship model of ET9. NIO Day is approaching. Let's move forward. It is the revolutionary steered by wire system. Well, this is another new and magnificent thing. After the popularity of ET9, today I will briefly talk about the new technologies of ET9, the entire line control, 
intelligent chassis, and the development ideas and goals of steer by wire. With the advent of intelligent electric vehicles, the technical standards set by flagship cars of some institutions are no longer applicable. In the era of software-defined cars and perhaps software-defined chassis, flagship cars and intelligent electric administration need a set of new technologies to reaffirm their top positioning. Therefore, when NIO is about to launch its executive flagship car, our goal for the chassis system development is very clear. That is to use up-to-date technology to provide users with an infinite experience and to establish a strong foundation for increasing intelligent driving ability in the coming years and perhaps decades. I mentioned one of the new technologies of ET9, full line control, intelligent chassis, full control, intelligent chassis. We can say at a technical level that this chassis system is the only real full line control intelligent chassis in the world, integrating three core hardware systems that significantly improve the driving comfort, handling, and safety of the car. It competes with third tier chassis alongside other cars' chassis. In the era of intelligent electric vehicles, using a fully controlled intelligent chassis system means that a set of leading industry execution hardware has been obtained but there are also some insurance problems. How has the mind of controlling execution hardware evolved since the end of 2017? What capabilities should be there in comparison? In the first generation of ESA that started at the end of 2017, it was equipped with air springs and electronic damping adjustable shock absorbers. At that time, there was a decline, and we devoted our attention to the suspension system to intelligently and rapidly adjust the dynamics of the body and chassis suspension. By integrating the independent chassis electronic control unit with the assistance of Ford, we included it in this system. This is also the reason why we upgraded the control software for the closed loop transfer and NT1 architecture air suspension model by 2023. In fact, NIO has been involved in wired control since the first generation of ESA. In addition to the mechanical structure of the chassis, the air suspension and braking system have also adopted wild wire transmission control. The ET7 concept, set to be released in January 2021, further advanced this. We launched the complete stack of the intelligent chassis domain controller developed by us, which is the brain of the intelligent chassis. The ICC includes redundant parking, air suspension, CDC shock absorber, and other control functions, supporting high-level intelligent driving scenarios. The appearance of the ICC is like the opening of a black box, and the most important thing is that, like a flexible conductor, it can iterate quickly. Now the NIO ET9 executive flagship card is set to launch soon, with the brain of the entire wired control. The intelligent chassis has been transformed into the VMC intelligent computing platform, like a beautiful symphony conductor that can fully utilize the potential of different controlled hardware. The VMC has separated software and hardware, integrating with the original Sky OS, which supports flexible development, deployment, scalable new functions, and new wired control hardware. It connects to intelligent driving by integrating actuators to drive systems, braking systems, steering systems, active suspension, and other wire-controlled hardware, enabling the motion control of the vehicle to reach new heights. Undoubtedly, VMC is data-driven, so it has the capability to evolve, iterate, and grow the full wired intelligent chassis over the next two to five years. NIO full line control, intelligent chassis, and VMC intelligent computing platform will become a new technical benchmark for high-end intelligent electric vehicles, supporting the product positioning of the ET9 administrative flagship and technical flagship. They will also lead the industry development trend and provide users with a truly new kind of full self-driving experience. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.